first official video from um, my channel, Everything Lauren. I just wanted to do a quick about me video to get let you guys know a little bit more about your girl. Um, of course, my name is Lauren. <coughs> my full name is Lauren Phelps. My middle name ain't even that serious, girl, but my name is Lauren Phelps. Um, I'm 37 years old. I'm an Aquarius, born in January. Um, <laughs> I currently reside in Richmond, Virginia. I am a, during the daytime, my nine to five job is a litigation paralegal. And I'm currently at the moment trying to start a content creator um, career. We'll see where it takes me. If it takes me somewhere, great. If it doesn't, it was worth a try. <laughs> But um, just a little bit of background about me. This isn't like my my official first video because I've I've filmed some videos before now, but I have not filmed a video before just to talk about me, where I'm from, what I'm about. Um, I like I said before, I am from Richmond, Virginia. Well, I'm not technically from here. Um, I was born in Virginia in ports in the Portsmouth area, but my parents were in the military, so we moved around a lot, you know, mainly on the East Coast. So I like to say I'm from everywhere, <laughs> you know, not from any specific place. Um, I didn't really go to high school here, so I, I went to high school in North Carolina, Fayetteville to be exact, 2-6. Y'all know, if you know, you know. If you don't, that's your business. You're missing out. But anyway, <laughs> um, I am 37. I am married. I've been married for about five years in September. I've been with my husband for about nine years. We do in total have three children. They are all girls ages 17, 16, and seven. And we do have a dog named Titan. That's the only boy we have in our house. So he's like a son to me. He acts like a child. That's the only boy I will have because girl, the shop is closed for your girl, seven. My daughter, seven, we're, we're done. Um, um, let's see, um, I like I was saying, I live in Richmond right now, but I'm not really from here. I grew up mainly in, I say, Fayetteville, North Carolina, since I went to high school there and I graduated from high school there. And majority of the people that I knew is from, are from Fayetteville, North Carolina, but I do reside in Richmond. I've been here since about 2005. So it's been a long time since I've been here. Um, let me see my hobbies right now. I, my hobbies are like self care. I like to get my nails done. Uh, of course, you know, I love to go shopping. I like hanging out with my friends. I don't have many. Um, the people that I do have around me are more like my family, not really friends, but they're my friends, but they're family now. Cause I've been friends with them for over a decade. So you know, I like to hang around them when I can. You know, I am married. I do have kids. You know, um, I just had a daughter that graduated high school. So she's starting her life. And then I have my two youngest. One is getting ready to go into her 11th grade year. So she's, you know, one foot step out the door. And then I have, of course, a seven year old. I know y'all probably thinking like, girl, y'all could have been done. Yes. We could have, but your girl just wanted a baby so bad because I thought I would have a boy, but yeah, I ended up having a girl, blessing. Um, she was a preemie. I am one of those mothers, like when I say a preemie, like my daughter was in the NICU. She was born in December when she was supposed to be born in March. So that gives you kind of of an idea of what type of preemie she was. When she was born, she was about, two pounds one ounces one ounce um yeah that experience in itself kind of changed my life um it changed how i looked at things how i dealt with things and how i dealt with people because it's just a, a scary experience you know having a baby early and then your baby being in a nicu especially in a nicu around all these other you know children or babies that you know in there it's just like a very life 
I'm not going to say altering, but it is a major life experience. You know, if I hope nothing like that ever happens to anybody, but if it does, or you are currently facing like a situation where you had your baby early and your baby is in a NICU, um, I, 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 you know, all I can say is like, you know, pray if you believe in prayer, if you believe in light and candles, uh, praying to the devil, I don't know, but whatever you you know, makes you feel better. I mean, that's as much as you can probably do is just pray to whoever you need to pray to. And, you know, have your family around you because it is a very tough situation. And I'm, you know, I'm glad that I had a good village of people around me to help me get through that. And yeah, she's here. You would never even think that she was two pounds and one ounce. Now, um... I tried to like write down some things because, you know, of course, my name, where I'm from, that's all like customary. You know, you're, I'm Lauren. You know, um, my Instagram handle is Mrs. Great because, of course, I'm married. And where I'm from, people call my husband Feezy the Great. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I call myself Mrs. Great. That's just my Instagram handle. I don't really call myself that in real life. But yeah, my husband is a barber. Um, he owns his own shop. So yeah, we live that type of life. Um, my job, I am a, like I was saying, a litigation paralegal. <sighs> the easiest way to explain that is I basically sue people all day. That's basically what I do. I sue people all day. I find ways to get people out of being sued. You know, I don't really work with any criminal. I used to, but um, that is very heavy working um, as a de with a defense attorney with, um, you know, the people who are trying to, you know, fight for their lives in some situation. And in some situations, they guys need to go to jail, but you know, that's neither here nor there. But now I do mainly do litigation paralegal and that just means i do all the legwork for the attorney and he gets all the glory i mean <laughs> i do all the pleading i just do all the paperwork basically you know if i ain't do it who the hell was gonna do it but anyway um i hope you guys are excited about my channel and the things that i have to come i am very family oriented girl if you thinking that you gonna get like club hopping over here it's not gonna happen your girl don't go to the club i don't do that once upon a time i did but girl i'm 37 i'm tired i work all day on the weekends you know my oldest daughter goes to work i have my youngest daughter so i don't you know club hopping ain't what i do i do do a lot of family oriented things me and my husband do hang out now i do hang out with my friends we go to brunch you know we try to do like little things you know throughout at least once a month with each other because you know of course we grown we all grown we all have like significant other we're all in like some of us are in a relationship some of us are single and mingling <laughs> but um nonetheless you know this is a family you know i do family shit over here we don't you know i like hanging out with my kids I'm trying to spend as much time with my 16 year old as I possibly can because like I was saying, she is in the 11th grade and she is getting ready to leave. So, and you know, her thing is she wants to go to college. So I want to spend as much quality time as I can and like help her like be as confident as she can as a young black woman in America today because it ain't easy. You know, it's not easy being a woman, period. But, you know, as you know, if you know, you know, it's not easy being a black woman either. But, you know, that's what my channel is going to be about. Um, again, I don't club hop. I might go out to a bar or two. You might see me in a club every once or twice, but it's not like a regular thing. Like I do like my kid my child in particular my youngest is in extracurricular activities so you'll see a lot of cheerleading stuff on here because again my youngest is in cheerleading and football season is about to start and she does do cheerleading for that i am also like trying to get back on a healthy journey 
as far as like working out and eating right. So I'll be documenting that. Um, I will be documenting our family vacation that we will be taking in August. So I can take you guys along with me for that. It's just a family, a very family oriented channel. Like, I don't know if I'm really going to have like my whole entire family on here, but you know, I, I don't do, you know, just outrageous shit. You know, I'm just, you know, I'm just chilling with my people. We ain't doing outrageous things. You know, I love hauls. I love the shop. Um, of course, I love decor. There are some decor things that I would like to do in my house just to switch it up, switch it, freshen it up. Um, I do change my house during the seasons. Right now, it's summer, so everything is kind of like bright and I like flowers and things like that. But when it comes to fall, I do change like my decor in my house, so I will film that. Like I have a whole... Thanksgiving fall decor bucket I have. Christmas is my all-time favorite holiday, so I'm not really sure if I'm going to be able to participate in Vlogmas like some YouTubers do because, again, I do have a full-time job, um, and I, at the current moment, I have no thoughts of, like, quitting at the current time because it, this is something that I'm trying to do on the side. And if it works out for me, great. And if it doesn't, you know, I still want to have my real job that I went to school to get to fall back on. But, you know, I do just want to dabble and double in content creator just to see, you know, where it gets me and what I can do. Um, Y'all, <laughs> this is this is a lot. But, yeah. I'll take a couple of six, but... Um, it's a little bit more about me. I am into like hair, um, makeup. I do makeup not like that. You will see a video where I actually got ready for this video with my makeup, you know, telling a little story or whatever, but I do makeup, but not really. I am really into hair. I, I used to do hair professionally. Like I used to be a licensed cosmetologist for years, but when I met my husband and after I had my daughter, especially after the preemie thing, I kind of let the cosmetology thing go because I was more concerned about being home at a certain, like, I, you know, I need to be home at a certain time. I need to be able to be, you know, with my kids or whatever. So I chose to, you know, find a regular job and like kind of leave that career behind. I kind of miss it sometimes, but I'm also glad that I do have the, you know, cosmetology skills because I didn't do these braids. Um, my friend does my braids for me. Well, she's my stylist and she does my braids, but I do wear a lot of wigs. Um, I have no problem coming on here and, you know, showing you guys how I put on my wigs. Very simple. I am not a, um that that glue i don't use like i don't use got to be glued i don't use um the glue that keeps the damn wigs on for weeks at a time no girl we um use boho liquid glue around here and we keep it moving um and that's good enough for me <laughs> but you know i would love to film some videos showing like how i do hair what i do little tricks that you can use if you buy synthetic wigs in the store to make them look more realistic because you know the honest truth is buying a human hair wig is not inexpensive it's expensive especially if you want quality and sometimes you can find a quality synthetic wig in the hair store just depending on where you go what hair store you go to and what company personally if you're going to do synthetic wigs, i will always tell you to go with the melted um i think it's autre i'm not sure but it is called the melted hairline um brand and you can't go no wrong with that i'm telling you you can't go wrong you know once i take these braids out I will definitely go to the hair store, buy a synthetic wig. I've probably got one around here somewhere and show, you know, my skills, you know. I ain't did hair in a long time, like professionally, but I still got a little skills left in me. But um, yes, uh, this is, you know, I just, I'm excited about my new journey. 
I was very nervous about doing this. I have been thinking about doing YouTube for a couple years now, but I have always come up with the excuse as to why I shouldn't, why I couldn't, nobody was gonna watch me, or just too concerned about what somebody else is gonna say, how somebody else is gonna feel, and girl, we not there no more. Like, I'm 37, I'm almost 40 years old. We finna live it up. Again, if it work out, it work out. If it don't, Lord willing, it don't. But I feel like if it doesn't work out, in the YouTube sector, I honestly feel like it'll work out for me in other ways because, you know, it's just helping build confidence. Because, I mean, you got to have a shit ton of confidence to get on this camera and talk into this camera and put that, upload that shit to the internet because, you know, people are cruel. We are living in dangerous times these days. So, you know, you got to be careful. But... I just wanted to let you guys, guys know a little bit about your girl. Again, my name is Lauren. This is my channel, Everything Lauren. I hope you guys will come back and visit me. I will try to put weekly vlogs up. Now, I can't promise that I can do more than once a week because, again, I do have a full-time job. So, my time is very limited, Monday through Friday, 9 to 5. But, you know, I'm going to put my best foot forward and do what I can. And this is just, um, I just wanted to leave you guys with three words that I feel like saved my life. And it is to be yourself. Um, once you start doing that, the sky is the limit. And that's just the honest to God's truth. Nobody can be better than you because nobody is you. I know sometimes, you know, in the social media world, it's easy to get caught up in compare in comparisons to what other people are doing. But, you know, that's just life. Some people are going to be further along and then you're going to have people that's going to be behind you and then you're going to have people that is right there beside you. But as long as you know that nobody can be you, girl, you good. We're good. And with that being said, I'm going to end this video. I love you guys. Please make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. I'll it's see simple. you. I love it. Having you near me. Having you here. Our conversations. Our rages. You smile. And I smile when I say.